I've got my coin in here uh, that I did previously and I want to sort of put it around here a couple of things have changed however I've put a little texture for the sand and I've got some uh, bricks on here and I've done some work on the gems but what I want to work on right now is the particle system okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the sand and I am going to come over here to particles. I'm going to add a new particle system. I'll call it sand. I'm going to use hair. I'm going to knock this back to 80 in the hair length at 0 0.5 or so. I'm going to choose advanced so I can deal with rotation. And I'm going to switch this to, I think, normal tangent. And for render as, I'm going to choose object and my coin and I'm going to increase the scale and now you can start seeing uh, some coins now I'm going to do scale random now, I don't know if it'll make sense because they're all the same all right let's switch over to this I'm also going to come over here to interpolate it, and I'm just going to put one there. Get them all roughly like that. I think I'll do that. So I want them kind of on the ground. All right, and I got some of this randomized going on. All right, so now. I don't want them spread out like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look from the top. And with the particle selected, I'm going to go into weight paint. And I'm going to paint where I basically want them. So I'm going to click here. Around here. And I want this kind of thing. Now, in order for that to work, I need to tell the particle system to use the sand vertex group right here. It's called the sand. So come down here, and under density, I'm going to choose. There it is. And now I have my particles in that area. Now I can still come back here go into weight paint and paint them roughly where I want them I can also click here and go to subtract and I can sort of paint them out there we go and I can experiment with the number of particles to help prevent some of those overlaps. Okay, or we can decide that maybe we want to do a little bit of this kind of thing and then there'll be less, a little bit less overlap. Let's have a look at how that's progressing. Over here. Alright, so I've got a bunch of coins now. So you can do a couple of particle systems, so you have different uh, coins in there. I'm not sure if I'll do that. Uh, and you can, um, you know, experiment with weight paint, and you can even delete individual particles. So, you know, that'll take a little bit of time, so I'm not going to do that on a video. But uh, I'm starting to get some coins in here now. And I could do the same thing with maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe gems or something, or maybe I'll move, move that gem, put it, put it right there, we'll see. Okay, so quick video on uh, particle systems for my coins.